I'm Tara Oracle, and this is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck by Matt Hughes. This is a loner from the beautiful, wonderful Christina has given us a loner deck to take a look at. I forgot to show you the back of the box. In case you're interested, there is the back of said box. And this is a nice little sort of a pastel -y, soft gold sort of a highlight kind of deck and looks pretty cool. So let's check it out and do a quick little mini review of what it looks like and how I like it. So the Fool, it has gold trim on it. So you can sort of see this if I move it around in the light, see the gold trim sort of highlighting. And I like how the borders are varied from card to card. So it's not like a fixed border. It just has a little varied border based upon the card. Very decorative indeed and has a lot of extra symbolism in there as well. By the way, here is the back of the cards and card thickness. It's pretty good. I mean, it comes about to here. It's not bad. It's not bad. Also has good feel to it. It's just a nice feel just to the cards. And again, with the borders, a lot of inventive things for the border. Instead of just standard border, you have a sword, pentacle, cup. You have decorative items on the borders. It just looks fantastic. And the high priestess as well looks really cool. I like sort of her, her grip on the, the uh, Torah and whatnot. Very cool. And you have sort of this implied pillar by the gold border it has an implied pillar around the high priestess. So a lot of inventive things going on here. Now you have sort of a fixed border with the empress, but the floral additions and everything else with that look great. And then the emperor, I like sort of the flowing beard and the, just the commanding look, sort of the closed or squinted eyes there. And then sort of holding that the ball. And then obviously the border, again, using some of the symbology from the Aries, Ram and whatnot. More Ram down here. A lot of things that are handled by borders that, should have, that could have been handled by art. So it's a nice inventive way to sort of do a 50-50 mix of that. Hierophant as well has a little bit of a watercolor feel with a pastel -y feel mixed in. So it's kind of like you, you don't really know what was the artwork or what was happening, what was the design, but very cool indeed. And then you have uh, the lovers, you know, again, very cool, who are holding hands, giving them a kiss. And then uh, another inventive way to sort of use the border. So instead of having a solid nighttime feel to that, instead we have the chariot with a Again, using the borders as, and one of these as well, one of the sphinxes being there. So, again, so cool. I like what they did with this. Strength, again, very interesting. Sort of a peek at sort of a storm in the background and whatnot. And then we sort of go on. Then you have the lemniscate over here. You sort of go on with the hermit with the same type of feel, right? We have the, again, decorative, but sort of putting things in perspective. And I like how the robe actually flows out of the decorative border here. So, I mean, a lot of thought was put. Somebody just didn't say, all right, let me crank out a card. They were more of a, you know, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can invent. I like that. Wheel of Fortune, again, very cool. And you can see that decorative wheel that he's holding is right there. It's so, so reflective and cool. And then instead of putting all the animals on each corner, we have the, um, you know, we have the kind of a, or so the animals around the wheel, we have them just sort of in the heart shape there. So a lot of Im implied stuff. Owl is very cool in Justice. Gives us an interesting perspective for not only the wisdom, but the justice being handed down, right? Because they have a sword to implement the justice or implement the judgment but also here you have again the owl indicate we do it with wisdom and then the hanged man a level of self-control implied by him actually holding that i like that as well and then death sort of uh i also like this implied uh closed-mindedness here right the the hand don't touch me don't get near me i don't want to deal with it um and temperance the flow just sort of floats in the air very cool and then the wings are again you know that gold 
that gold edging, or sorry, the gold sort of highlighting there. Very cool. And the devil, that's interesting, sort of like a statue, a, one of the statues that you see, interesting as well. And then the tower. We only have one person falling, and they are indeed wrapped. So, very cool. Star, I like it. Uh, she's seated. I haven't seen a lot of seated stars, quite frankly. Uh, most of the time, they're bent down, bent over, standing or whatnot. I haven't seen many seated of that. And the moon is interesting as well. No dogs, no lobsters slash crab or whatever. Just someone sort of reflecting on that, sort of highlighting the intuitive part of the moon as well. And then we have the sun, which again is very cool. Good use of the gold and whatnot. Judgment is interesting. Pretty traditional here, but it is interesting that one body did not resurrect or one body did not get that second chance, right? And then we have the world as the finale. Now, keep in mind this has two extra cards. So we're going to look at those in a minute, but the world looks great. And again, instead of the corners or around a wheel, you have these sort of embedded within the border. And then the artist. Um, interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I think that he's drawing on a big piece of paper that's coming out from between his legs. And I guess he's drawing this tree. And there is a building in the background. And then the well, which indeed is a well. So there, there that is. Ace of Wands, good use of the gold. The Two of Wands, that's interesting. That's interesting indeed. Sort of looking down looking directly down. There's no cityscape. There's no villages. There's no people. It's just nothing but shoreline. I think that's an interesting aspect. Same with the three. You don't really see the ship. You don't really see a vast ocean. You just see a stream or a river. That's an interesting aspect take to it there. Four of wands. Pretty traditional, but there's no people. The person is above, sort of hunched over. And then we have the Five of Wands, very traditional type of thing. Again, really cool looking art. Uh, six of Wands, riding with the success. Um, yeah, they're pretty traditional with that one. Seven, again, traditional. And the eight, uh, fairly so as well. So I think once we're getting into the minors, we're pretty much back to the standard rider right way, right? We got the nine, we got the 10. It's interesting that the... Everything is in a bag. So in a reading, we can sort of say, you know, you do have a bunch of things sort of weighing on you. However, the, the it is organized. It's in one spot. It's coming from one source, right? Because it's a bag. Page, I mean, fairly traditional, I guess. Fairly traditional. Very sort of focused on that particular thing. And then the night as well. I like the horse's expression, sort of coming at us rather than riding from left to right. Queen, the cat is there indeed. So, you know, so common that people will leave out the cat. And when I was making mine, everybody did say, please put in the cat. The king is well with the lizard. The king with the lizard. I mean, they're really sort of grasping the traditional rider weight and sort of bringing it back, right? Ace of Swords. Oh, that is interesting. I did this in my digital deck where we're holding the sword blade with our hand. In my digital deck, the sword blade was bleeding. I mean, the the, uh, the person was bleeding from holding the sword. But um, anyway, that, that was my take on it. But that's interesting that somebody else did that. You rarely see an actual blade hold on that ace. Um, two, very traditional. Uh, almost exact, except there's no, obviously no seat to sit on. They're sort of sitting in there. Um, three, same as well. And then the four has more of an aspect of like, what the hell's going on there? It's like there, there's a wand, uh, sorry, there's a sword sheath or sword hand guard and maybe a sword sheath that he's holding on, but then it looks like he's holding on nothing up here because there's no blade. I think that's interesting. There's just a lack of a blade. Um, five of Swords, Lord of Defeat. That's interesting that the defeat or or the winner has such a grim expression. Normally, that person's very happy. They've defeated these people, but it's almost like that they are worried or concerned. I think that would be good in a reading 
because it gives a, a bit of a different aspect to that as well. Six of Swords. Um, yeah, the people are missing. It's more focused on the person driving the boat. Um, seven, kind of traditional, going the wrong way, um, and, and actually trying to hide the swords. That'd be interesting in a reading, wouldn't it? You're actually trying to hide the fact that you took something. It'd be kind of cool. And the eight, um, yeah, restrictions, kind of traditional there. And the nine, um, pretty traditional there, right? Sort of reaching down. We have things in there. In my waterfall tarot, I have the same type of thing where instead of just a blank behind them, they have something or somebody looking down, sort of like an evil influence. And then the ten, very traditional indeed, with the sands of the blood. There seems to be a, a distinct lack of blood in this deck. Page, eh, okay. Knight, not a very rapid, quick-moving card in this one. The queen, um, interesting. We put sort of a, a dove. I guess it's a dove. I don't know. Well, maybe not a dove. I don't know what it is. Um, interesting. Interesting as well. Very solemn look. And the king, a very sort of a commanding look as well, with like a firm grip on the sword, like we have a firm grip on everything. Um, ace, pretty traditional. Um some pictures you'll see them holding the the chalice handle. Some pictures you see them cupping and offering it. I think it's an interesting aspect to have which is which. Two of cups were missing the people. Kind of interesting. Didn't really see that coming. The three we are more alone than we are together. Right in the in the traditional one, they're all facing each other and holding the cup up. In this one, they are sort of alone. I mean, they're sort of in their own space. Uh, four, no hand from a cloud, more like just wings being delivered, but it still sort of hints that an ethereal being is offering it up. And then the five, right? Five is pretty traditional. More, more, much more of a depressed look on this person. Um, six is nice. They're not really offering anything to each other. They're sort of in, uh, in a moment, in a moment together. And the seven, um, okay, I mean, I guess we have one aspect from the cup, which is going to be the lizard. We have a mask, which is another aspect from the cups. We have a skull, which uh, in some, we have a city. So, you know, sort of interesting. We have the clouds. Sort of interesting how they took the things out of the cups and they incorporated it into the rest of the card. The eight, we're not making a journey. We're more scanning or planning a journey, which I think is kind of cool. And then the nine, yeah, very traditional, right? Not seated, but we do have the cups on the offering. And the 10, kind of cool. The 10 does point to sort of a new family type of thing. So um, that definitely is reflected in that. Page, very traditional, but on a cliff is interesting. Night, as well, uh, not on a horse. It's the first night that we've seen that's literally not on a horse. Well, I, th I think it's kind of interesting. The queen, um, okay, and then the king. Very cool. So let's look at our last suit and check that out. Ace is, ooh, that's more of a four of pentacles hold on that pentacle, right? The four of pentacles hold where he's sitting there and he's sort of holding it like this and whatnot. Kind of interesting. The two, instead of juggling it, we are doing a bit more of a dance. And then the three. Ah, huh, that's interesting. Instead of actually working, we're reviewing the document with the people that came to give us the documents, right? Because a lot of times you think that's maybe specifications for the work that needs to get done. And so now maybe the worker is reviewing the specs, um, for yeah, fairly traditional, a very interesting take on it. And then the five, which is more of a comforting card than a out in the cold type of card. And then obviously the six, which is interesting. Instead of giving them something, we have a, a moment in time, maybe after they receive the gifts or before they receive the gifts. I'm not really sure. Seven is pretty traditional as well. And the eight, very traditional. 
nine very traditional sort of a manifestation of all the work that we did in the seven and then the 10 again pretty traditional right missing the children and whatnot but the happy home is definitely there and then we have the page i think this is pretty traditional interesting sort of a new perspective on it and then of course the knight and the queen and finally the king overall i think this is a great deck this is a good looking deck the ethereal visions i love the inventive use of borders you rarely see that that's my number one favorite thing is the inventive use of borders in the deck the other thing is just how soft and pastel -y the deck feels. And overall, I think this is a win. It's a good looking deck. Good looking deck indeed. Thank you for Christina for letting us borrow that. Let's take a quick look at the book. Um, I mean, I'll hold it here. You just kind of get a, you sort of got to get a couple of things going there with the focus. Okay. The sun, the world, or the minor arcana, the cups. We have a very short sort of feel when we get to the chapters. Not a lot of minors things covered in there, but a couple of keywords. I mean, you know, a little white book is a little white book. You do have a couple of keywords in here. Um, do we have any spreads or anything like that? We have an introduction. We go straight to the majors. And at the end, we do not have any spreads. But yeah, just a little white book is still a little white book. Anyway, please hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this deck. And thank you for watching. We will see you next time.